Hello everyone, I'm Thomas, N1SPY, and today we will be talking about APRS. This is one of the things that I've always had trouble with since I was a young ham when I was starting out with amateur radio, and it's actually very interesting. Now if you struggle with APRS and find it very complicated, I will give, give me five minutes and I will give you everything you need to know how to work APRS. So basically, APRS stands for Automatic Packet Reporting System. And let's say this is the state of Florida. It could be any state. And there's a lot of receivers and transmitters and beacons around the entire state that are tuned to the same frequency, 144390. And they always listen for APRS. The stations in the state can be pretty much anything. They can be transmitters, they can be beacons, receivers, and repeaters. Repeaters receive the signal and retransmit it. There's also special stations called eye gates, which I will get into in a couple minutes. So the bottom line of all this is that there are lots of stations around the state, and they're all tuned onto the frequency, and they form a sort of network where they can pretty much receive any APRS signal. So what exactly is APRS? Well, it's a packet reporting system and of course it involves a packet. This here is a packet. It's addressed to a sender or from a sender which could be a radio or any station. It has a recipient which may not be any particular station but it's usually addressed by how many hops the packet wants to take on the network. There, there, it, it usually standardizes to the, to the number of hops <coughs> and they can be to repeaters or anything which send them back out. And now for the package itself. Inside, the packet may contain a GPS position, weather, a status message, QSY or listening info, or pretty much anything you want to send anywhere. So these are only a few ways that people can use packets. There are some very creative ways that people use to get their information out into the network. Some other ways packets can be used is to say when any station comes within 10 miles, you can tell them what frequency you're listening on so you can, you can speak to them, talk to them, or you can also set it to tell you uh, when a friend gets within a certain radius or when they're online you can you can tell them that hey let's meet up on this frequency or pretty much anything else so to sum it up APRS can be a network of stations which receive packets and send them throughout each other and they can be used very usefully for a variety of uses such as contacting other stations or giving out information. For this network to work, it doesn't need internet, it doesn't need towers or any structure like that. It just needs APRS enabled stations which are ready to transmit and receive. So this is how APRS works in a radio. First I tune to the APRS frequency 144.390 and every couple of minutes I get an APRS signal and every single signal I get is sent to a list. Now if I click on the list and click on a station it'll give me the station's movement and all sorts of information about it. And this radio is very good for such things because of its widescreen. It can fit everything and all of the information that we need. As I've said, I'm, lis I'm listening for stations that are in position but APRS can be used for hundreds of other things. Okay. So now I can transmit and I can tell the radio what power to and what frequency to transmit at. Well, frequency meaning how far in between the transmissions are. Okay. Some of the stations and the network that I explained earlier are called digipeters. These digipeters take signals and they retransmit them for other people to hear. I don't have any digipeters in my area, but if I did, I could send out a signal, the digipeter would receive it, 
and will send me confirmation that, they, that my signal is being heard. One project to explore is creating a digipeter of your own. Some stations take all the signals that they hear and transmit them to the internet. These stations are called eye gates. If you go to a website called aprs.fi, you can see all of the APRS traffic being displayed. So I hope you enjoyed this introduction to APRS. This has been done on a single handheld radio, and they tend to be a bit expensive, so there are kits to build your own stations. And that's a very fun project in its own. So thank you for watching, and 73 from N1SPY.